Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Kirby's Covers. My name is Kirby Swinner and today I'm going to teach you how to play a song from the man in black. This used to be a covers channel. All the covers are still here but they're all turned off due to copyright issues. So in order to view any of my previous covers or new covers because I've, I'm still recording new material you have to come over to my website and uh, check it out. I'll put some links down below. If you want to come and look at my latest 100 or come and look at all the artists I cover or just come over to the homepage if, or if you want to just poke around from there and start that that spot, it's great. I'll put some links, like I said, at the end of the video. In, well, they're in the description box now, but for this one, I'll have a link at the end of the video take you over to the page I have for this gentleman. And there's a, over a dozen, a dozen songs over there, demos and free chord sheets. You can help yourself to those. Because I won't be playing the demo here, I'll just teach you how to play the song and then you have to watch it over there, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. This one was played back in the 50s in Sun Records in the studio, and they played it uh, higher. It was like two frets higher with a capo. I don't know if they use a capo, but it's two frets higher than standard pitch. And in the 60s, and they did it in Folsom Prison, they took, them, took it down a notch. So there's, depending on what version you listen to, you may or may not need a capo. Right, if you're trying to play along. But typically it's a three chord song. It's E, A, and B7. Okay? And of course you have that famous intro on the A string here. To the D, back to the A, and then you can do that, or if you're on an electric, or you can play it like that on an acoustic if you want a little shake there. And then you're off to the rhythm, right? Now there's a couple of ways of playing the rhythm on this. So you can play a root down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way through, like this here. You could do that, or you could play a almost like a like a hop and a skip. It's almost like a gallop beat. Root down, up, bass down, up. Root down, up, bass down, up. Or you could just just do a downstroke after the bass. Right? And you can put a little bit of a bass run here as you go to the A, 2 4 to the A. The bass notes at the top there. And a little bit of a 4 open to the B7. And the bass is at the top there on the G flat note, as you can see. playing this E, of course, you can always do that as well, right? You can do a little bit of a hammer on, on that A string. All right, so there's a couple things. Pick your pick your battle on the, on the rhythm. You may play it a little bit different. There's probably three or four ways of playing the rhythm. Now, in the break, when they do the picking break, it's done up here, and they play it twice on the album, um, and it's the same. It just it, it plays it twice, but you could play it once here and once down here. So... Up here, you'd do this. Now, with no band, I would ring this top string, right? I'm, I'm coming off this here, and uh, I'm going to go into a picking break, so I'd, I'd slide up on this B string to the bottom, but instead of just picking it, I would hit this, so I'd do this. Right? I'd ring that E string. So it, it tells everybody I'm still on this key, right? But that's all that's going on there. And then it goes to the A. And then the A chord moves up here. Because we're looking for these two notes right here. And then it goes back to the E, of course. And then you get to the B7. Right? And then they walk it down to back to the E. So the other way of playing it down here would be with hammer-ons. Just keep it on, on, the, on the E chord and hammer on the G string and play with the B string there on the third fret. Now you're going to arpeggio a little bit open, G, D, and then up to the A like that. And of course, now when we're going to play the A up here on the 9th, 10th, and 11th, what happens is this bottom, this finger covers the bottom three, and this finger goes down to the B string. 
as they slide it up to there. And then back to the E and the B7 and so on. So if you were going to play this down here, I would do the same thing. I would ring this E string because I'm playing the picking part here. So I'll just play it through. Alright, so there you go. That's all you need to do for that one. You got a couple of different ways of playing the rhythm. Uh, capo up or capo off. It doesn't really matter. Whatever fits your vocal range. Get to the break. Decide if you're going to put two breaks or one break. If you're playing one break, I'd probably play it down here. If I'm playing two breaks, I might play the first one here and the second one down here. And, you know, that's pretty much all you need to do to get that one in the bag. So if you thought that was helpful, please uh, do something like with the social media stuff there, like the, like the video, I guess, and make a comment. I try to answer all the comments. If you know somebody that plays this song or might like to learn how to play it, if you've got some social media, hit the share button and send it out that way to some people. I do have a Facebook page over at Kirby, uh, sorry, it's at facebook.com slash Kirby's Covers. It's the same name as this channel. Except the covers are not here now. They're going to be posted over there. I've got, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 covers over there so far. Not a lot, but compared to the three or 4,000 I had here. And, but again, they're still here. They're just turned off. You can see them on the website. But if you want to follow me over on Facebook, I'm posting every night over there. A new cover or an old cover. Maybe you've seen some of them already, but I'm, I'm trying to mix them up. And then this channel here will be just strictly for, you know, instruction like I just did. Went through this song explain some things to you and I got a whole list of songs I want to put here but to watch the demo for this there will be a link above my head it'll take you to the man in black page on my website and there's a bunch of other songs there that you can look at uh, demos you can watch there's chord sheets so you can download and then explore the rest of the site if you if you feel like you want to do so okay so that's all I got for now folks I appreciate your time thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time